In this demonstration, we're going to show you the importance of optimizing your application in the package step in Visual Builder. So first of all, when you have a little application, you sometimes are tempted to just hit run and then uh, estimate the performance. One of the things people usually do is they look at their network tra uh, traffic and see how the page behaves and which files are downloaded. So this is what we're doing right now. You can see the files that were downloaded. Now I'm going to point a few things here. First of all, if you look at the flow, employee flow, we have three files that are being downloaded, or actually two files for the flow, okay? And then we have also a, a file for the start page here, the JSON, the HTML, and the JavaScript. So three files for each page that we're looking into. In addition, um, we just add uh, all the images, and then if we click the button, Okay, you can see another JSON file being downloaded. This is because the action uh, that is defined for this button is in a separate file in the new version. So this is another file that is getting downloaded. Now, the other thing to look is if you look at where the file is coming from, again, this is actually being downloaded here, as well as the, um, of course, the data from the REST services. And if we scroll up, uh, also the JSON and JS and HTML files, all of those are, ever, are being downloaded every time that you invoke the page. And um, just as an example, if I now click on an employee, okay, and navigate to the next page, you're going to see again three files for that other page being downloaded right now. Now let's compare this to an application that has been optimized. So just to explain optimization, um, if you look in Visual Builder Studio at your pipelines and you have a pipeline that deploys your application, for example, we're right now deploying this application, there would be a step there called optimize package. Okay, and if you look at the configuration, uh, so the package step that you would have there, there's an option here as part of the packaging to optimize the application. So this is a little checkbox that you check. It's checked by default. And this actually takes and minimize your application. We do a bunch of uh, operations on your files to minimize um, the application. So after you do that, when you run the deploy, okay, so if we look at the deploy step in your pipeline, um, in the log, you'll be able to see the URL that you need in order to run the application. It would be under here. Okay, so let's copy this one and we'll open a new tab and do an inspect to get the developer tools like that. Open up the network and now let's paste this URL. It's the same application we saw before, but let's look at the files that are being downloaded right now. Okay. So you would notice that if we scroll up, okay, we don't actually get a specific HTML, JSON, and JS file for every page. Those are not being shown here. They are all downloaded initially in one transaction. In addition, for example, if we click this button, okay, the functionality still exists there, but we don't see another thing being downloaded, okay? No matter how many times I click on it. This is already on the client. And um, then if we click on an employee and click edit employee, okay, again, we don't see the call to get the JSON, JS, and HTML files. Those are already cached here, and we just get the call to the data. Um, in addition, you can see that a lot of the stuff is being cached. Okay, so the next time that you're going to invoke the same URL, okay, so let's just paste the same URL again go back to the first page, a lot of the things are coming from the disk cache and the memory cache, and the only thing that you're actually fetching is the data. So performance of your application is going to be much faster compared to just evaluating the runtime of the click to runs. So if we, for example, go back to the homepage of the design time uh, experience, basically the preview, clear everything and reload the page, you would notice that, again, even though we already ran this page, we're downloading the JS, JSON, and HTML for each page action flow, etc. And that's because you're still in design time. We assume those are changing very frequently, so we don't cache them. Okay. And we download them each time. So this is going to impact the performance of your application if you're testing it using the design time preview. This is why you should be using the optimize step in your build package 
to optimize the packaging before you actually deploy your application into runtime and before you do any performance checks.